hello family i welcome you back to my channel this is Ekwe Nyami and this is my youtube channel some time ago i did a video about types of marriages in ghana the processes and the procedures of getting married in ghana and i had a lot of questions in the comment section of that video so in this particular video i'm going to try as much as possible to answer those questions if you haven't watched that video it doesn't mean you can't watch this one please watch this one after this one i'm going to put the link of that video in the description of this particular one so that you can watch it please stick with me if you are interested let's do this so the first question i'm going to answer is that someone asked in the comment section of that video this is the first time i'm hearing the word christian marriage can you quote where it can be found in the law or any reliable source so when i use the word christian marriage in that video what i mean is the blessing what we normally call the blessing there are some churches who have not registered who have not been registered to conduct marriage under the ordinance but the church has a doctrine that maybe if you want to go for communion you have to bless your marriage if you want to be a leader in the church you have to bless your marriage so they will do the customary marriage and then they will bring the marriage to the church to bless it that's marriage the church has not been registered to conduct marriage under the ordinance or if the minister have not been registered to conduct marriage under the ordinance you might see it to be a wedding but it is actually a blessing with that marriage the church is going to give you a certificate of its own with the church name on it for example you can have the methodist church ghana holy matrimony or holy solemnization between blah 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 and blah 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 that is the church blessing that is not marriage under the ordinance so that is what i i, I refer to as the christian marriage that can be conducted but it is purely by the church and not the law someone also asked hi ma please can you do all three traditional marriage under the ordinance and the christian marriage so you can do the traditional marriage if the church has not been registered you go to the court or you go to the um, your district assembly or municipal assembly to do the marriage under the ordinance and you can come back again to do the church one that is the doctrine of the church so if the church has not been registered you cannot bring that certificate to the church so you can do your customary marriage as i said you go and check you go you go to the court to the registrar's office and then you do the marriage under the ordinance and then you come back to the church and do the church one but if you also don't want to do the church one you can do for your the traditional and then the marriage under the ordinance if you also don't want to do the marriage under the ordinance you can do the traditional that is the customary marriage and then come to the church trade but if the church has been registered that will be a kind of two in one because after you've done the customary marriage when you go to the church because the church has been registered if the church does the marriage under the ordinance the church will see that will take it or will classify it as you've blessed your marriage and so you can go for communions or you can be a leader in the church these are this has to do with specific churches and their doctrines and the way they want to do their things the third question is that can my fiance obtain the wedding certificate before i arrive in ghana if he has my information this is a total this is no in ghana for the traditional marriage someone can stand in for you for instance if i'm getting married and my husband is not in ghana traditionally with the customary my husband's brother can stand in and then do the customary marriage i can go to the court and do the 21 notice 21 day notice and everything but when it comes to the certificates both of us need to be there because signing the certificate that is the marriage under the ordinance both of us have to be present before the judge or before the registrar and then we go through the process one person cannot go and take the certificate without the other both of us should be there plus our witnesses the next question i'm going to answer is that can you sign at the court before you do the traditional ceremony yes you can sign at the court before you do the traditional ceremony that is totally going to the court when you go to the court the court is not going to ask you whether you've done traditional marriage or not it is the church it is the church when you are doing the marriage under the ordinance in the church that the minister will ask who is giving this person's hand in marriage has the man performed everything that he's supposed to do at home before bringing it here for the church they will ask so before you do marriage under the ordinance in the church you should do the traditional marriage first but if you want to go to the court or the customary marriage you can do that before you go and do the traditional marriage the next question is that the person says please is it is the bride to be supposed to buy some of the things 
okay so i always advise that you can support yes but then if the items that your family gave to the man to buy the money that he's supposed to put on the drinks that he use the traditional marriage this is purely my opinion i advise that you allow the man to buy those things if you want to support in any way you can support with maybe paying for your makeup maybe paying for the cameraman maybe paying for snacks that you sell at the marriage or food or decoration or hiring of chests or canopies that doesn't mean you should be the one to pay for all those things no you can choose some of those things to pay to support but for the items on the list for the bride price for the ring for the for the the the, the drinks i really and i purely suggest that leave it to the man because traditionally that is the things that he's coming to he's going to use to marry you if you have money to support the things that i mentioned earlier on you can support from that angle this question counts in three the first the first question is that so after the 21 days when we sign the certificate with our witnesses is that the marriage certificate yes that marriage certificate is a long certificate um with a green um with with green in the middle and white at the top white at the down so when you go to the court and you sign that with your witnesses yes that is the marriage certificate the person also asked is it important to exchange ranks there that is purely optional you can exchange ranks you can hold your hands you can use the bible the judge or the registrar will give you the option but if you want to exchange ranks you can but it is not um it is not compulsory that you exchange rate there. The same person asks, can we just go home and assume we are married? Yes, you can go home and assume you are married. Yes, after that is a marriage that is recognized by the law of Ghana. So where you go and then you do everything, you sign and then you, test it, you take your certificate. Yes, it is not only about assuming you are married, like practically um, you are married. Yes, you are married. And the last question I want to ask is that what are the effects of doing the civil without the customary marriage? Okay, so in Ghana, marriage, we see marriage to be between two families. And so you can't just wake up, go to the court and say, I am coming to get married. Some countries accept that, but in my country, because you are coming from a family, we see it's traditional, it's a traditional thing that the man and his family should come and request your, your hand in marriage. Your father should take something Hi family, I'm very sorry for that interruption. My light went out. My ECG, ECG took their light, so forgive me. So the last question I was answering is that what are the effects of doing the civil without the customary marriage rights? So in Ghana, it can be done in other countries. In other countries, you can just meet someone, both of you go to the court with your witnesses and then you get married. But in my country, it is totally not acceptable because we believe that marriage is between two families and so since both of you are coming from a family the man's family should come to the the man and his family should come to the woman and her family and officially ask for her hand in marriage and then the lady's father will officially hand her daughter over to the man knowing that when anything happens to her daughter he's coming to ask you you can't just meet someone in the as i said outside and say come on let's go and get married and then you go to the court and get married we leave that she's coming from a family so it, it, it should be at least a respect to the family because someone brought her up someone raised her and so yes you can't do the the the, the marriage under the ordinance without the customary right that is my my country as i said it can be done in other countries thank you so much for watching this video to the end please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that and i will definitely see you in the next video